Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to do knockout text on my iPad. You can use this same method on all iOS devices. We're going to start in Design Space by creating our background text. I like to use a bold font. I'm going to use Eagle Bold and I'm typing the word mom. You can use any font you like, but you want something that will stand out as your background font. I'm going to change the color. Now we're going to use letter space to move the letters closer together, almost touching. We'll go back to insert text. I'll switch to system fonts and I'm going to search for I Love Glitter. I Love Glitter font is a free download on defont.com. I'm going to type open bracket underscore Judith underscore close bracket. Now we're going to select the text we just typed. We'll go back to letter space and we're going to move our letters closer together so they are touching. For the next step we're going to be using the print and cut image so you want to make sure that your size does not exceed the maximum for print and cut. Check your text against the background to see how it looks. Once you're happy with the look you're going to duplicate that text and then flatten the duplicate. Click make it and select the print and cut image. I like to expand it to get a better screenshot. Take your screenshot and save it. Open Photos and select your screenshot. We're going to use Edit Photo to clean up our image. You can skip this step and do your cleanup only in Design Space, but I find this makes it a lot easier and quicker to clean up once we upload. Back in Design Space, delete the duplicate and go to Upload. Choose Select from Photo Gallery and retrieve the image to finish cleaning up. Use Remove and Erase to clean up the rest of the white background. You want to remember to remove the inside of the letters also. And once you've got that done, click Next. We're going to choose Smooth, and you want to tap it two or three times. You don't want to skip this step because this will make your text more bulky. When you're ready, click Next. We're going to save the cut image, not the print and cut, the cut. Give it a name and save it. Now we're going to bring that image onto our canvas. It likely will be a lot larger, so you're going to want to size it down to fit your project properly. I'm going to line mine up with the original text. Bring it up over your background text. You may want to play with the size and positioning to get it exactly how you want it to look. Once you're happy with the look, select both together Go to Action and Slice. Delete the cutouts. We don't need those anymore. And we're done. All you need to do is line up your insert text. Get it looking just right. Select both together and group it and then size it to your preference. Don't forget to save it. I hope this tutorial will help you create knockout text on your iOS device. If you haven't done so already, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.